Hi, this is Brian Jones from eLearningArt.com and I uh, was just doing a follow-up lesson. I showed you how you can create uh, display board templates that have kind of these three different views, a zoomed out view, a transition view, um, and a zoomed in view. And I um, showed you how you can do that by just adding various assets. So for example, that, you know, having the chalkboard display or the, the wall as a uh, you know, bricks or this and the person and the floor and the baseboard but wanted to follow up and, and show you um, that's great I use that for for building out what my scene is going to be but I actually use this as a stage often and in, in authoring tools um, that are outside of PowerPoint and um, wanted to show you a little trick where you can create kind of a flexible stage where you can still customize the content within an authoring tool um, but that your stage is kind of set so you'd have this this scene now some of these authoring tools will have a direct import PowerPoint feature and uh, it treats them a little bit differently depending on what you're using um, and uh, I'll do some various lessons on that as well but this is kind of a fail-safe uh, method for you to um, to kind of save out as a uh, as an image which is what PowerPoint allows you to do so once I've created these three different scenes the problem if I were to save out these indi uh, ind individual images per slide right now is I'd have a person who's stuck on that screen I can't change and the word content would be there I don't want that so what I want to first do um, PowerPoint within the selection of visibility pane allows you to hide certain elements on the screen and, um, and so I can take this for example this person here and I can ch you know close the eyeball there and hide her and same thing with that content text and uh, do that on the other slide as well hide person hide the content text and the same thing on this last one, the content text. It's really helpful to name these things so you can come back and, uh, and edit these very quickly. But now all I have to do within PowerPoint, if I go to File, Save As, um, in my selection here, I can save it. And actually, I'm going to save it as a PNG image. And the reason I do that is it's a, it's a lossless file type. So if you go JPEG, it's going to compress it right now. And then it's going to get compressed again later when you, when you publish out. So I'll save it as a PNG image. And I'll just go ahead and click Save. It's going to ask me if I want to do all the slides, which I would like to do. And it does it really quickly. There we go. So now, if I go back to uh, to that folder, so here's the folder where it was saved to, and you'll see I have slide one, slide two, slide three is how it names it. I can view them in extra large view, and uh, you'll see I have these three nice slides that I can then. Um, insert this as a background image or just uh, an image on a slide master or just an image and now I can add whatever character I want within the authoring tool and any content that I want within the authoring tool and I've also saved some space on the publishing because it treats this uh, image as a single image when it's publishing out so it's not a bunch of different um, it's not a bunch of different elements which is how it would be if you were to create uh, the same sort of uh, layout within uh, within an authoring tool. So, anyway, um, I hope you found that useful. Um, it's it's definitely a, an easy way to create a background stage for a display board template uh, that then is very flexible in whatever authoring tool you're using. Thanks so much. Have a great day.